you see this massive list of jobs? Today, we've decided that we're going to do the one job that isn't on that list. We're going to build some more raised beds. For those of you that haven't followed our journey until recently, when we moved in nearly two years ago, our first move of action was to get started on the vegetable garden. So you'll enter the vegetable garden where the gate is there, that will go eventually to a dining area in the centre of this field there. And then either side of that path leading up, there will be vegetable beds on either side. And the idea then is to just keep adding gradually and every time we add to it, we'll add to it symmetrically. And that was when Ryan's journey of hatred towards raised beds began. Now it's probably a good time to mention two things. First of all, we do usually make our own compost. We have loads of compost bays filled to the max, but it is near impossible for us to make that much compost that quick. So we have bought some. Uh, I highly recommend Plant Grow. We've had really good stuff from them. We've tried quite a few places and so far, so good with them. And number two, we do follow the no dig principles when it comes to gardening but we are gonna have to dig a little bit to put these beds in. The ground is really bumpy in the vegetable garden, so we're gonna have to dig a bit to make it even. Right, back to digging. There's a few steps we follow when building a raised bed in our vegetable garden. First of all, we prepare the ground. We cut the grass and make the ground roughly level. This cut grass goes into our compost heap or we use it as mulch. And any dug up ground also gets used to fill the bottom of our raised beds. Next, we cut the wood. Ryan originally did this by hand, but he's very, very happy that he now has an electric saw. I'm also happy because it's a lot quicker. It's then time to join the wood together. We use metal brackets. We have previously used bits of wood, but we just find the brackets work better. Step four is to lay the cardboard on the ground to suppress weeds and grass. This works perfectly. There is no need to physically dig up the grass and weeds. It's at this point that you can add anything else that can compost down into your bed too. We're talking wool, leaves, wood chip, sticks. 
point of this is that then you get to use less compost because if you're buying compost it's expensive. And then finally, top with compost and you're good to go. Well, welcome to the tool shed. So at this point in the video, I'd like to show you a pretty drone shot of the wonderful vegetable garden that we have created. Uh, full of flowers and, you know, roses along the side of it. It's just not that time of year at all. wait until the summer or the spring we've started sowing our vegetables now so you're just gonna have to wait until later on in the year and you're gonna have to stick with us on this channel to see the beds in all their glory it's a bit of a shame that we've kind of started this channel now because I do feel like our garden doesn't quite look as pretty as it can look in the rest of the year so yeah I hope you guys stick with us we've basically finished another four beds I think but you kind of saw basically how we created a bed and the rest of the footage is basically uh, a situation where we just repeat the same process again and again and again. And I think that's why Ryan hates doing it so much because it's just not a very fun job. It's quite tiring and the land is so big. It's such a big piece of land and we really want it to be full of vegetable beds, but it's just a long process to get there. Hopefully this year we will get to the point of um, it looking a bit more like our original plans, which is full of beds to have a bit of an outdoor kitchen dining space in the middle. Yeah, we're, we're getting there, I think. That's how we create a raised bed. I love these kind of videos. I find it really interesting how people build things in the garden or in their house. So that's why we're creating these kind of videos. Anyway, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you in two weeks time. Goodbye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>